Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin Wa salatu wassalamu ala asyarafil anbiya wal mursalin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in uh, May I commend uh, my colleagues in the Tepaiti Tupi Syam, uh, Ahmad, Tonji and the brothers and sisters Who have taken this initiative of uh, remembering his contribution of our colleague and friend and dear brother, uh, a great psychologist. Now, I happen to be more familiar with um, social science texts and psychology was uh, a discipline that is uh, quite distant, particularly because we associate it with the way clearly a soulless Western uh, framework uh, of Carl Jung and uh, Sigmund Freud. And um, it never actually interests me in any way. Then came about this man, Malik Badri. And um, his uh, dilemma of Muslim psychologists uh, was, uh, frankly, uh, a tour de force, uh, a challenge to the normative mode of thinking. And this was published in the period of um, the Islamization of knowledge, um, which, which some see that clearly a rejection of any Western discipline. But if you look at uh, Malik Badri's uh, work, which is seminal, because um, although he started, I think, in a uh, key lecture at the uh, Muslim Students' Conference in uh, the States on this... Um, uh, Muslim psychologists in the lizard's hole based on the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It clearly was, um, as I said, a challenge, and it attracted us, the non uh, psychologists or, or, or those who are not familiar with this thinking and trend, to appreciate what this man, uh, in his mission, uh, trying to create this awareness that uh, the whole discipline must be looked from a different paradigm. Uh, and that's why he said in the last chapter about the soulness, uh, the soullessness of uh, the, that particular discipline or science. And, um, and, and again, incidentally, uh, one of his latest works, Hisham told me that, uh, or oh, Anas, uh, enlightened me about his latest work in Arabic which is now in uh, publication but um, his earlier work on the sustenance of the soul uh, by Abu Zaid al-Balqi al the Afghan in the 9th century uh, the advantage was that I had to then devour such works when I was in prison so you go copious line by line and see the um, capacity of uh, Brother Marhom Malik Badri to um, understand and appreciate this contribution of a great alim of the 9th century to under, uh, to, uh, about the uh, sustenance of the soul yeah, as compared to the uh, existing uh, theories which uh, lacks that uh, dimension of faith, uh, values, inculcation of habits that could still work and, and change the, the mindset and understanding of any uh, human being. So I, I uh, of course, then had the advantage of uh, knowing him, uh, having uh, exchanges with him, uh, um, provoking him and arguing. Um, in many occasions, in seminars and also in our residence in Kuala Lumpur and uh, such a charming personality um, and, and uh, patient because uh, he mentioned once because he said this is a subject unlike political science or social science or these related disciplines is something which is uh, not a common uh, subject then and not familiar to many people. So he made it very simple in his uh, articulation of these issues. So we, we honor this great man who has 
contributed immensely in this discipline and I think in the whole realm of Islamization of knowledge, Malik Badri of course uh, excel in terms of uh, challenging this uh, traditional dogma of the captive mind of uh, Muslims uh, and of course non-Muslims into that sort of discipline which was so, so strongly embedded, entrenched in that mode of thinking which has never been challenged. Now he had the courage to challenge that and I think um, looking at his contributions, even like this small book was a major effort in um, uh, giving this new sense, of not only confidence to Muslims, but this new vision and outlook, how a Muslim, and for that matter, any human being should look at the issue of uh, psychology if they care to uh, create this new uh, awareness and also maintain some sort of independence and creative thinking. And I think this is very relevant in the context of the IT understanding where we inculcate uh, not dogmatic uh, acceptance of traditional norm, be it in the East or in the West, but to inculcate this mood, this creative uh, mind, creative thinking, to challenge even the established, entrenched uh, normative uh, understanding uh, that has been so uh, pervasive among intellectuals. So thank you very much again. Um, and, and con again, uh, I reiterate my commendation to the colleagues and this three string of uh, scholars present, or my colleagues here. I wish they are all here in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, and and uh, I, I must uh, express my <laughs> regret that I'm not able to uh, participate uh, in this um, session because uh, I have a prior engagement and of course the timing is um, arranged to suit the <laughs> American time so uh, I uh, humbly apologize uh, but thank you again Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh